keep banging on these niggas. Finger on my trigger, man. Wu Tang. Yo, this is you guys from Wu Tang. You're watching the Guest List Network. Tune in right now. I was about to get funky dumpy right now. When the night falls, I'm tight with my white walls. The greedy pain draining all my life force. Behold a pale white horse. The hype boss with tight jaws. Fight low. You just released your new album, Keynote yeah, Speaker. So how's the response been so far? This response is crazy. I'm number six in the country right now, Amazon. Wow. Number, t number 20 right now, iTunes. You know what I mean? So you got to take that into consideration because you got about 50,000 rap artists that come out all the time. You know what I mean? And um, to be number six, it's a good fucking number. Especially six out of like, out of what, the top 200? It's pretty kind of cool, man. Definitely. Hopefully I can get up to number like number five, number seven, number ten. Maybe. I'd be cool with 11. I know the next time I'm coming down, I'm coming for that number one spot, though. <laughs> How does your new uh, music differ from your previous solo work and group work with Wu-Tang? Well, when I'm with Wu-Tang, I only can give you 16 bars. Mm. That's that. Real to realness, untouchable, Elliot Ness, your select of that. Take me off the bench, I suppose the lynch. The angel in the air, you can smell my stench. Group is big, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I respect that. I was, oh, yeah. I was a large group. So I only can give you but 16. After the 16, you really don't really know me. But with this do my soul shit, you get a chance to really see me and get a chance to be like, okay, damn, so this is what this dude is on. You know what I'm saying? You get more respect as for me as a solo artist. I mean, you get a chance to see what I'm, what I'm representing, what I'm about. You know what I mean? I would not pill that in that hurry with a fist, the fury. Martini with a cherry is very necessary. When I make it to the top, I'm a pop, Holly Berry, and Staten Island Ferry, where the legends were made. In the staircase, throw a rap grenade. Take it back in the day, get clapped for your chain. Dudes is always going to be rhymes, you know what I mean? Because you just got to come dust, sometimes you just got to come and dust them off. <laughs> Sparking them up, you know what I mean, and shine them up, and they, they shine like diamonds. Oh, what crafty dust gets cool? They go to challenge now. True, bad asshole, baby, you. To my crew, it does. If there was anybody that you could collaborate in the whole entire world that you haven't already, who would it be? Prince. Pink. Pink, wow. And Beyonce. I'll do a joint with her. Definitely. Write some music with her. Um. Who else? A couple of other people, man. Couple yeah. Because when, when you guys first started getting big, like obviously the social network, the internet didn't exist. Yes. How do you think it's changed? Do you, do you like to keep your fans up to date now online? Well, I don't want to lose my mystique, so I, I kind of dibble and dabble with it. I still like to be mysterious. Yeah. Blah. Not putting everything out there like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, yeah. yeah. Everybody, it, it takes away, it takes away. Mm. I don't care what nobody say, it takes away. The excitement. Yeah, mm. nobody don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> Don't give a fuck about First of all, I be seeing dudes with a million Twitter followers and don't even sell a goddamn record. That's very true. It don't make no fucking sense. Like, though, how you got... And they're verified and everything. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you verified. Okay, your account is verified. You got 800,000 people on your shit. You running around, you doing all this flyness. And then I sit back, you don't sell no records. Meanwhile, I got about 40,000 people on my Twitter page. And I'm number six in the country. You know what I'm saying? So it's, Crazy. It, it doesn't. It's, see, my my 37,000 is real fans, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't it ain't fake. I ain't buy I ain't buy nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get caught up in that. Sometimes I think really people think you gotta look good. Mm. You gotta look a certain way to. Yeah, you good. You know what I mean? That, that doesn't work. Not in every case, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a shaky foundation. That's a that's a false foundation to me at least. Pass that roll. If I miss you three times, gonna catch bullet four. Bullet four. Okay, so after 20 years of performing, um, what is the craziest thing you've witnessed at a show? Oh, someone stage diving and no one was there to catch them. Oh, wow. Landed on his head. Damn, near broke his neck. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, it happens. Uh, trust me, it's seen some crazy shit. I know you're originally a beatboxer. 
if you still got it, do you reckon you could give me a little something? People have been trying to give me the beatbox for a minute now. Yeah. She used to ride my right hand, man. I used to do the beatbox when things up in the corner. You know what's all about. You know what's all about. I say what's on my mind. People might get offended. Because mm. it probably bangs into what everybody else is doing. But I'm not afraid of nobody any fucking way. So it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of you. And many, really, really, at the end of the day, if you got a fucking problem, I'll whip your ass. <laughs> <laughs> It's how it is, yeah. Yeah, these little punk motherfuckers, man. But, <laughs> you know, but, you know, it is what it is. Really. If I gave you one matchstick, what would you do with it? Matchstick? I set the world on fire. Hey, there we go. Everything is capable. Everything is capable.